to Bible Fun with the Dubs. Today we're studying chapters, Psalms, chapters 126, 127, and 128. Oh, yeah. Let's hop right in. Let's hop All right, right in. Right. Daddy. Okay, so these Psalms are still part of the Psalms of Ascent. These are, the, these are the little courses that they're all singing all the way up as they go to worship in Jerusalem. So what you have to picture in your mind is large caravans, large groups of people traveling from all over the country, all to Jerusalem. Well, as they're going, part of kind of keeping their spirits up, kind of uh, preparing their hearts for worship, is they're all singing these songs. Imagine the songs of ascent almost the way you would like Christmas carols. They're songs that everybody knows, everybody can sing together, and they put you in the, the right mind frame, the right, right mindset for worshiping God. And so all the, little, all the Jewish people traveling, even the kids knew these songs. And what you're finding in Psalms 126, 127, and 128, they're really all about the family. They're talking about what a family is like, who a family looks to, God, and, uh, and how God builds not just a, a home here, but he's also talking about how God builds a bigger kingdom home. You know, Jesus is going to later say that in his father's house are many, many rooms. If it were not so, he would have told us. Behold, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again. I'll receive you to myself that where I am there, you may be also. So where these people are singing about building earthly homes and earthly families, really everything is pushing us ahead that Jesus is building us a better home. All right, so let's go with our takeaways. John, John, you had one to share. Okay, so my takeaway is... Uh, so this whole chapter is kind of like having godly families, and um, so it reminds me of what my mama prays for every day. Um, please, she says to uh, what did you say <laughs> about having godly friends and godly? Oh, I pray for God to surround my kids with lots of godly influences, not just family, but all the people around them. Alrighty. All right. Jackson, what were your takeaways with all this? Awesome. Okay. Well, great. All right. Let me let me give you a couple of thoughts I had. Uh, what, what it begins in Psalm 126 is talking about their their return to their return to Zion. What you're finding out when you're reading through all of these things is how what the nations are saying and how and, and how people are watching all of these people kind of return back to their place for worship. It says, bring back the captivity, O Lord, and as streams in the south. So it's bringing the captives home, and it's like the water's loosening up and flowing down through the rivers. What I like about this is how these passages end. For instance, at the end of that one, where it's talking about, uh, where it's talking about how th how tough things have been, it ends with hope. It says, "Those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. He who continually goes forth weeping, bearing seed with sowing, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing and bringing the sheaves in with him." And I like that. I like that passage because it reminds me of another one that says, "Though sorrow may last for the night, joy comes, comes in, in the, the morning." morning. And so every day in our home, in the kingdom, uh, joy comes in the morning. And certainly joy is all about Jesus. And so, Mama, what'd you get? Well, we decided to uh, gather all the kiddos. Usually, you know, some are playing outside and stuff. But <clears> this is Sunday afternoon after lunch. And um, we gathered them all because we read this and it has to do with the family. And I like that. This is kind of pretty real life, pretty raw for y'all, um, of how we discuss the word and everything. Um, and so what I really, what really spoke to me as I read these chapters today were the first few verses of chapter 127. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, for he gives to his beloved sleep. I am reminded not only um, as a parent raising kids, but also just as a Christ follower, that I am not expected to be able to do everything. A lot of times from a parent's mindset, raising my kids, that's a hard job. It is daunting. It is intimidating. 
and we have bad days. I mean, I think everyone is like that. And there are some days where Dustin and I look at each other and we're like, are we doing this right? How, you know, how in the world can we do this? And I love the reminder that we're not meant to do it alone. We're meant to do it through God. God does the doing and we do the trusting in him and the following him. And I think that applies to our families, but it also applies to all Christ followers. So that's a, a good takeaway for you kiddos who aren't raising a family right now, but you're part of a family. You're trying to follow Christ. God is the one who does all the work. He gives us the desire and the ability to do what he wants us to do. And it's our job to look to him and to trust in him. And so that's our that's my takeaway today. And that's what um, I would encourage you to do. I got one more. I, I want to end all of this with Psalm 128. It says in, uh, in verse 3, it says, Your children will be like olive plants all around your table. And so it's picturing all of uh, the family all gathering around the table together. Mm -hmm. And it talks about the children being like olive plants. Now notice it didn't say it's like olive trees because olives come from olive trees. This is olive plants. An olive plant is a little bitty beginning. It's not the tree yet, just like our kids. Our kids are little plants. They're not full grown trees yet. And so one of the things you gotta, you gotta remember here is that we're in this thing for the long haul. So, so mama told you a little bit for kids. This is, this part though is for mamas and daddies and grandmas and grandpas. You got to be willing to play the long game with the kids. Right now, they may still be olive plants, but you are grooming them and taking care of them so that one day they are flourishing olive trees. So play the long game. Model Jesus for them. Pray for them. Share the word with them. Uh, pray about their spiritual life. Model that in front of them, but play the long game. It's not a one and done. It's every single day turning plants into trees. All right? So that's what I got for you today. Hope you have a great day. We look forward to tomorrow with you. Uh, keep reading. See you later. Bye. Bye.